In today's episode of The Perspective, we welcome Ugandan actor, comedian, and entrepreneur. Alex Mohanji is a renowned name in East Africa through his work and his projects, namely Comedy Store Uganda. He has inspired so many comedians, young comedians, and today he shares stories with us of how he entered comedy and more about his personal self. Alex, thanks for joining us today. Pleasure is mine. How are you, sir? I'm okay. Yeah. How is Kigali? Kigali is nice. The weather is good. Last night it was cold. Today it's very hot, so it's fluctuating. And I'm enjoying it. Okay. Yeah. You always come to Kigali. It's not the first time. Yeah, it's not the yeah, first time. I've, yeah. I've seen you on several occasions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is the gist behind this non-stop tour? And, and no, no, no. Uh, I always see the adverts of Visit Rwanda. And I'm one of the guys who are visiting, so I come in a lot. <laughs> Sometimes when I try, to, I chill a bit. Then you see, visit Rwanda again when Arsenal is playing. I'm like, ah, I need to go again. <laughs> so yeah, I'm one of the guys who enjoy being around. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Mm. When you came around uh, just a few days ago, you yeah. you attended. Actually, you participated in Gen Z comedy. Yes, yes. Um, tell me something about it. Are you boiling something with? Are you cooking something with uh, Fali? Yes, yes. Uh, so Gen Z comedy is, uh, is, uh, is, is, is a good, the guys, the whole team, uh, Merce and, and his team, we, they are very good friends with Comedy Store. So we started a program uh, where we want to be having comedians come from Kigali and go and perform at Comedy Store in Uganda and vice versa, having our guys from Comedy Store come through to Gen Z. So uh, we had, had come around. Uh, so that we could finalize that deal and we start doing it. Oh, yeah. so is there a kind of collab with... Yes, uh, yes, it's a collab. You can call it uh, a relationship. You can call it working together, whatever you want to call it. But we want to have comics uh, coming through to Uganda to perform at Comedy Store. Then next week, there are these ends, like that. So we have that. You know, for us comedians, it's very nice when you travel and, and see what, like, other areas that do comedy think, uh, play about. So not just you being confined into your environment, but you also go ahead to see what happens in other countries. So the more you open your mind, the more creative you become. So that's one of the reasons. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, Where you. do you see Gen Z like in the next five years? Uh, Gen Z is you're really huge. You see, people don't like to see the future, but for me, uh, I have an experience in that when I see something that is going to be really huge in the future and i'm very proud to be a part of it so for me when i started doing the show the comedy store i was worse than what gen z is doing in in just two years so i'm thinking the next four years they will be on top of, of, of east africa probably africa mm -hmm. yeah there is news circulating around that you could host the ben before the end of this year in kampala is that true well uh Hosting the band is, uh, is not entirely me. What happens uh, at home, uh, the audiences own the shows. So the audiences determine which artists should perform, whether Ugandan or abroad. So when, usually when we have those international artists, still the audience chooses and says, we want this person. So uh, the band is one of their favorites. They've actually reached out already to me, when can we have the band? And the Ben is hesitant because he, he just performed at Comedy Store at Valentine's Day. So he feels he should come back again like a year after. And I'm here begging. People are saying, you come. Who are you going to perform? <laughs> For them, they are saying, you come. So uh, he's a favorite. He, does, uh, he's, he sings to, to crowds, that, to uh, Ugandan crowds. And he really appeals to them. So they love him so much. So anytime he's, he's available, I guess he will join us. All right. Yeah. How do you compare the entertainment industry in Uganda and Rwanda? Uh, in comparison between the two, uh, they're, they're all good. I don't know about Ugandan songs, say, oh, comedians who play here. I, I can tell you that a few comedian, comedians say, Anne Kansime, Patrick Salvador, Daniel O'Mara, uh, Hillary, who, who okay. really come, like, they, they appeal to the audiences here. Musicians, I'm not sure. But I will tell you for a fact that uh, Gen Z is really watched in Uganda, and uh, Rwandan artists are really huge in Uganda. Mm -hmm. So I cannot compare, say, who is bigger or not, but 
it's like the same family. Mm. Yeah, I think the difference is just the border, the, the Gatuna Katuna border, but it's family. When people in Uganda are listening to music from Rwanda, mm. it's like they're listening because you know the message is usually closed, the languages are closed, so it's like our brothers are singing to, for one another. So I like the platforms, they are all like. We support each other. All right. Yeah. I want to ask you a few quick, quick questions that yeah. require very quick, short answers. Sure, sure, sure. What, what, number one, mm. what do you appreciate the most with your friends? Loyalty. Number two, mm. what's your main fault? Fault? Yes. I'm not good at time. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if mm. not yourself, yeah. who else would you choose to be? Uh, Will Smith. Why? Okay. <laughs> That's, it's okay. It's a quick yeah, yeah. answer. Mm -hmm. um, what is your greatest fear? Uh, my greatest fear? Um, marriage. Who is your favorite hero in fiction? Fiction. Um, what's this character? Shrek. Okay. Mm. What is the trait you most deplore in others? Ah, what do I most deplore? Uh, I think I think like resilience. Okay. Yeah. What is your greatest regret? Uh, having born late. I wish I had come like in the fifties. I would have done a lot <laughs> by now. <laughs> <laughs> On which occasions do you lie? Oh, every day, man, because that's the job they pay me for. <laughs> you have to keep lying to people. Yeah. When and where are you the happiest? Where are you the happiest? Ah, when my daughter was born. We shall keep bringing you more and more thrilling interviews and content. Alex, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, you're welcome. We can't wait to find you in Kampala. Yeah, I can't Can you wait. also invite us to come to Kampala? Yeah, yeah, why not? And you're the first interview I've been to, and they don't ask me, don't tell me a joke. Many, many other interviews. Even I even thought I... your jokes are paid for, so do you want exactly. to... Exactly. No, 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 no. You see, that's, that's the thing. When you meet a doctor, you can't say, doctor, I hear you, doctor, first treat me. Mm -hmm. eh? When you meet a slave queen, can you say, you first slave for me? No, no, no. Mm. But when you meet a comic, he says, tell me a joke. Why do people want free things? Take it on. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take it on. Uh, bro, take it no, on. No, no. Even me, I want to be like how you find a teacher. Mm. can't find a teacher on the street and you have to first teach me. No. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing you're laughing. So it looks like it's working It looks on like you. you already done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Alex, thank mm. you so much. You're welcome. for accepting our invitation. Thanks for having me. We look me, forward to seeing you again. Pleasure, pleasure.